friends, it's Cory from Hey Let's Make Stuff. We're coming to the end of 2023 and I wanted to wish you all a happy new year. For today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So we're gonna be looking at the things that I think will be trending in sublimation in 2024. If you're new to sublimation, sublimation is a printer craft that has taken the crafting world by storm in the last couple of years. You basically use a special printer and ink to print out a design that you can then use a heat press to apply it to all sorts of blanks. It's really, really fun. You can get all sorts of bright and vibrant images on all sorts of apparel, drinkware, home decor items, all sorts of things. And I don't think sublimation is gonna slow down in 2024. So if you're ready to get started, let's dive into what I think is gonna be most popular next year. Number one, I think we're gonna see even more types of sublimation blanks. We saw a lot of growth in this area this last year. Two years ago, we were just doing t-shirts and tumblers and mugs, but this last year has seen a lot of growth um, with different types of blanks that you can use. Even here at the end of 2023, I'm starting to see more really interesting blanks. So I'm gonna throw a few of them up here on the screen. You can get lanterns, you can get these little benches, you can get rhinestone jewelry, plus sublimation sippy cups, wireless chargers, and even pong rackets. So I think really interesting blanks like this are going to be a theme of 2024. I think all of these new blanks will help us get out of the rut of making things like 20 ounce tumblers over and over again. We're gonna be seeing more of this from more different brands, especially on Amazon, as more people realize that there is money in sublimation. Um, so I'm hoping that we will be able to see a bunch of new products hit the market that can expand the number of things we can make with sublimation. But that doesn't mean that we're not gonna be seeing some of the things that we've been making in the last few years. I still expect those 20 ounce tumblers those big Stanley tumblers, mugs, apparel, all of those things will still be popular next year as well. And then I have a couple specific types of blanks I wanna talk about. So number two is going to be sublimatable acrylic. I think we're gonna see a lot more of it this year because it's just starting to ramp up and it's really cool. So I have a couple projects I've made here. This is my dog, these are my kids, they are so cute. But I did these using sublimatable acrylic. So I used my laser cutter to cut out the shape and then I sublimated the image on the back. I will have a tutorial coming out for this in the new year in case you do have a laser and you wanna give this a try. But in addition to something very custom like this, I think we're gonna see brands coming out with sort of other sublimatable acrylic blanks. So right now PYD Life has a sublimatable Stanley topper. It's a little acrylic Stanley topper. They're really cute. There are also photo frames that you can uh, sublimate from the back, also really great. I think there is a lot of growth in this particular material. It sublimates beautifully. So I really think that some manufacturers are gonna hop on this trend and we're gonna see a lot of it in 2024. And the nice thing with manufacturers coming out with sublimatable acrylic blanks is that you don't need a laser to make them. But speaking of lasers, my number three sublimation trend is going to be products that can be both sublimated and lasered. So there are a lot of new lasers on the market in the last couple of years. The X-Tool M1, the Glowforge Aura, they are entry level lasers and more and more people are getting into laser crafting. So I think we're gonna start to see some crossover. So for example, I have this wine and cheese board. I made this in a video a few weeks ago. This is actually also laserable. So I could have sublimated the, the uh, tile here and then I can laser the wood. I didn't do that for this particular project, but I did confirm that this is laserable. A product I've seen a few times recently are coasters that are half a sublimatable tile and half engravable wood. So I'm expecting to see more of these things as more and more crafters get into both laser crafting and sublimation. Number four is hydro sublimation transfers. I did a very popular video on this earlier this year, and I think these are really fun, especially if you don't have a sublimation printer. So maybe you are a Cricut crafter and you want to try sublimation, but you're not ready to take the full leap into a printer. These sublimation transfers are the perfect way to get started. So I expect to see more and more people trying this out in 2024. And I really hope we also get to see a lot of new patterns as more people embrace this type of sublimation. Number five is in 2024, I think that sublimation is going to become even more accessible. With the absolute explosion of growth in this market in the last couple of years, more and more companies are realizing there is money to be made in sublimation. And so I think we're gonna to start to see more and more people getting into the game, which means lower prices. For example, I recently reviewed the Brother SP1 sublimation printer. It is now the cheapest sublimation printer on the market and it's less than $400. That's still expensive, but it is more accessible than something like a Sawgrass. And I would not be surprised if we saw more and more printer companies entering the sublimation market because they realized that there are a lot of people who really love this craft. 
Additionally, you can now walk into basically any craft store and buy sublimation blanks and paper and even printers. So I can walk into my local Joanne and they have a whole section for sublimation now. That wasn't even possible, I think even six months ago, definitely not a year ago. So I'm expecting those sections to become even larger as sublimation continues to grow. It's really amazing to be able to walk into a store, get what you need and get home and be making that same day instead of having to wait for a delivery. So I think overall with more manufacturers, more distributors, more retailers, um, we are just gonna see sublimation grow and it's gonna become more and more accessible to everyone. I also think we're gonna see printer technology expand rapidly in the next year, including innovations with sublimation. So maybe somebody's working on an ink that will work with cotton, for example. I'm really hoping that because of this boom in sublimation, we're gonna see more innovation and we're gonna be able to make more projects and it's gonna be awesome. Number six is AI artwork. We saw the sort of genesis of AI artwork really in 2023, where it kind of started going to the masses. And I think it's absolutely going to explode in 2024 as more and more companies get their own AI art generators. Two big trends we saw in 2023 were 3D designs as well as sort of stained glass designs. I think those two are going to actually still be popular in 2024 because we haven't had like a full year cycle. And I think those types of designs are really good for holidays like Valentine's Day and Easter. So expect those to stay popular. So while I don't know exactly what type of art people are gonna be creating in 2024, you can expect these huge bumps when something becomes very popular very quickly. There are a lot of ethical concerns when it comes to AI, so definitely do your research Research, I actually highly recommend Jennifer Maker's AI art course. Um, she goes through the eth ethical ramifications of using AI art, plus how to make all sorts of awesome images. I will go ahead and link that in the description. Now let's talk about a couple hacks. One hack that I think we're going to see in new ways in 2024 is the hairspray hack. So I don't know if you have seen this in various Facebook groups, but people are using hairspray on different materials to be able to sublimate them. Hairspray is made up of polymers, which is exactly what you need to sublimate. So you can spray a little hairspray on paper, for example, and you are able to sublimate on it. I have seen this most with the sublimation toilet paper hack. So people are spraying a little bit of hairspray on the first piece on a roll of toilet paper, sublimating an image, and then wrapping it up as a gift. I've also seen people using hairspray on uh, paper bags for parties, banners, those sorts of things. I don't really know if there is a safety concern with heating hairspray. I mean, the number of times I've put a little hairspray in my hair and curled my hair, it's probably not an issue at this point, but it is something you might wanna be aware of. This hack is also easy and inexpensive, making it really accessible to a large number of crafters. Number eight is a double printing hack. I just saw this recently, and I think we're gonna see a lot of it in 2024 as people realize that this is a good way to get more vivid images on their sublimation projects. Now, I'm gonna give a caveat that I've seen this mostly on glass, and I think it's probably best for glass and other hard, hard blanks. Um, and that's because if you have too much ink on your sublimation paper, you can actually get blurred images and other problems, especially on softer blanks. So keep in mind that this one is probably best on glass and other hard blanks. So what you do is you basically print out your sublimation image and then you turn right around and you put that piece of paper back inside your printer tray and you print the exact same image on top of it so you have a double printed image. Now, I was a little suspicious on whether or not I was going to be able to get exactly the first image on top of the second image. Now, I was a little hesitant because I didn't think there was any way that my printer was going to print so exactly that it would get perfectly on top of the first image, but it did on the first try. It was actually pretty amazing. So I've got two mugs I've made here and they may be a little bit hard to see just because of the camera and the lights, um, but this is the one that I only printed once and this is the one where I printed twice. And I can definitely tell the difference, especially in the dark blue. So the little flowers have these like dark blue centers. These look almost gray, these look really blue. And overall, this one is just a little bit more vibrant. Yes, of course it does use more ink because you are printing twice, but if you want more vivid glass projects, I do think that this is a really good hack and one that we're gonna see more people using in the next year. Number nine is the DTF hack. So this one has been around for a while and I think we're gonna see it even more this next year. So basically you put film instead of paper inside your sublimation printer, you print out your image on the film, and then you apply an adhesive powder, you'll cure it under your heat press, and then you can press it to your shirt like a DTF print. The reason people like this is because you can put it on a cotton shirt, which you can't do with straight sublimation. I reviewed a DTF printer a few months ago. I will go ahead and link to that so you can see that review. And because of that, I have a few reservations about this hack. The biggest is with that curing of that adhesive. So to start, you do need to powder your adhesive, which means that you need to be wearing all sorts of safety equipment, goggles, a respirator, or something like an N95 mask, apron, gloves. 
And then I really don't like that people are curing this adhesive under a heat press. I would much prefer, prefer a curing oven like that you can get with a DTF printer. You get, I guess you could buy that uh, curing oven and use it with your sublimation printer. Um, but I don't love the idea of those melting adhesive fumes just traveling out into my craft room. So I may try this hack in the future. I will wear a respirator because I'm very uncomfortable with those fumes, open a window, run my air purifier, I'll do all the things to make it as safe as I can. But I do think we are gonna see more and more people trying this hack. I just really hope that if you try it, that you take the proper safety precautions. And then finally, number 10, we're headed back to that DTF printer because I do think in 2024, we're gonna see more people upgrading from sublimation to either DTF printing or to white toner printing. Because sublimation needs that polyester or poly coating in a light color, there are limitations and there are going to be people who just want to go past those limitations. And the next step up right now is probably DTF or a white toner printer. With both of those methods, you can print a vibrant four color image and apply it to cotton. You can apply it to dark colors. All of these things you can't actually do with sublimation. Both of these methods are much more expensive than sublimation, however. So I don't think we're gonna see every crafter all of a sudden going out and buying a $4,000 DTF printer. That's not gonna happen. But I do think small businesses are gonna start to see that while sublimation is amazing and it's a really great starting point, moving up to a DTF or a white toner printer might actually be able to help them take their business to the next level. So those are my 10 predictions of things that are gonna be trending in 2024. If you have any other ideas of things that you think are gonna be trending, I would love to hear those in the comments. If you want to learn more about sublimation, I will go ahead and link my book, The Ultimate Guide to Sublimation, so that you can learn from start to finish how to make sublimation projects quickly and easily. If you found this video helpful, of course, I always appreciate a like. Follow my channel for more sublimation, cricket, and laser content. I'll see you next year.